announcement is out in full force this Labor Day weekend, both on the road and on the water. Fox 56's Tyler Melito joins us now. And Tyler, you got to see firsthand how officers are keeping a watchful eye on our lakes and rivers. That is right, Gigi. Labor Day weekend is pretty much universally considered the final weekend of summer. So with that, it means the majority of people are going to want to get out in the sun and on the water one last time before it gets too cold. I had the chance to ride along with officers from the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife this afternoon just to see what they are looking out for to make sure everyone is having fun safely. We were looking for uh, navigation lights once, uh, once it gets dark. Uh, we're looking for uh, kids under 12 are wearing life jackets, uh, making sure people are being safe while they're out here voting today, um, this weekend especially. Um, it's kind of the last big weekend for boating. There are two main points officers like Kristen Cornett emphasize to make sure people are being safe. The first, life vests. Um, especially for uh, young children under 12, um, it's important that they have a life jacket on. Um, um, this will ensure that if they go in the water and they're knocked unconscious, that their head stays above water so they can breathe. Um, if they have this on, it's a, it's a law requirement. It's one that we always issue a citation for because it's a safety violation. The second, boating under the influence of drugs or alcohol which Cornette says is extremely important because people tend to think drinking and driving only applies to their car. Uh, people will say that, you know, I wouldn't drink, drink and drive a vehicle, but they'll drink and drive a boat. They don't look at it the same, but we look at it differently because you're surrounded by water, which is something that can kill you, which, you know, we don't want an accident to happen like that. So, um, you know, so we tell people, you know, it's just as important to not drive a boat as it is to not drive a vehicle when you've been drinking. If you're caught breaking the law out on the water, you can expect fines between $50 and $500. And there's even the possibility of jail time because at the end of the day, safety is the main goal. Yeah, that's what we're all about. We're all about safety. Uh, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. We don't want to have to work those accidents. Um, that's the type of stuff that you know we're, we're after. Safety is the main thing. We want people to have fun. Everybody likes to go boating. Um, I enjoy boating in my time off as well, even though I work it. Um, so, but safety is our main concern. One other thing to remember while you're enjoying your time on the water this holiday is to make sure you have your boat registered correctly with all the proper tax. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Melito.